Everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we, today I'm going to be going over the most recent episode of SmackDown from uh, Glasgow, Scotland. This was a SmackDown before a Clash of the Castle. My Clash of the Castle review will be up on... So actually, tomorrow, tomorrow will be the Clash of the Castle review. So, yeah, how I usually do these type of reviews, if you're new here, I'm going to go over all the matches and segments. I'm going to rank all of them and give my overall thoughts on what the sh on how I thought the show was. Uh, I do reviews like this, like, like what, twice a week? So, if you yeah, just check it out if you want. So, yeah. We're going to start off with Naomi versus Chelsea Green. Uh, Chelsea Green's new theme song, oh my gosh. It's not even new, it's just literally a remix. Def Rebel did it again. Basically, her theme song is like, it's Chelsea Green! And then the whole song plays like... I like the other version of it, but uh, of course Def Rebel does that, because it's Def Rebel stuff, right? This is an okay match, nothing really too special. Just I, I was okay with it, just there was really nothing. Naomi did get the win, though, I'm not surprised. I'm going to give it a 2.6 out of 5, it was okay. And next up was the Grayson Waller effect with DIY. This one, um, I feel like they should have had DIY versus uh, uh, Aton Down Under at Clash. For some reason, they didn't. I guess not. I don't know. They teased another one of the theory and Waller breakups. This is one of the most. This is a, not one of the better Grayson Waller effects, but it's pretty good in my opinion. Um, Johnny Gargano cooked. Uh, Waller on the mic basically explaining his past teacher with theory but then saying like he's gonna turn on you he's like don't trust Waller and all that just cooking him on the mic um, again, I'm gonna give that segment a 4 out of 5 next up was Santos Escobar versus Apollo Crews this is exactly like the first match it was nothing uh, Baron Corbin turned face here so that's a little bit interesting too Baron Corbin's finally coming out on TV same thing with Apollo Crews he's finally getting a lot more TV time than usual Baron Corbin, though, a turn face, I'm, I'm intrigued for that one. Uh, this match, really nothing happened. Santos got the win, 2.8 out of 5. It was fine. And next up was Cody Rhodes and AJ Styles. This is AJ's best promo in, I think, a long time as well. Basically, he's explaining how Cody is a quitter. He, he quit Ring of Honor. He quit New Japan. He was about to say he quit AEW. I, th I completely thought he would name drop AEW, but he didn't. I'm, I'm actually a little bit surprised that he didn't name drop it there. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it if when uh, the Raw goes to Netflix. I feel like that's gonna start happening. But yeah, AJ, man, wow, and then Cody, like, Cody like, had, kind of had a good amount of a rebuttal, but just not as good as AJ's, man. I'm gonna give that segment a four out of five. That was pretty cool. Next up was Misha versus Nia Jax squash one point one point five out of five. Nia Jax killed her. And then next up was Logan Paul and LA Knight segment. This was not in the ring. This was uh, Logan Paul returning to his house, I think, in Puerto Rico. I think that's what they said. And LA Knight was just chilling in his pool. I don't know why. It was it was so stupid. It was really nothing. Another home invasion segment for LA Knight. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know why. I really liked that little segment. Just once again keeps adding on to the legendary fear they're going to have. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. That was pretty good. Next up was Carmelo Hayes' little segment right there. It was okay. 3 out of 5, basically. I forgot what he said on most of this. He's like, what was that stupid video package? And then all that. I forgot what else. So, yeah. Next up was the, un the Unholy Union's little promo segment as well. These segments are like two minutes each. Um, it's uh, I think it was Jackie Redman. I don't know. It was one of them. Uh, that came out, um, introduced the Unholy Union, and then basically it was a little hype for the to get the tag team championships the next day. I thought it was okay. I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. It was really nothing. And the main event was Solo Sokoa versus Kevin Owens. This was Solo Sokoa's best match on the main roster, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I don't know if there is better as well. Uh, you, someone can tell me. I only, I only started watching uh, SmackDown, which is the show Solo's on. Uh, I only started only started watching SmackDown back in September. This is the best solo match there is uh, so far, in my opinion. Um, it was a really good match. Uh, basically, Paul Heyman was so scared Solo was gonna lose because Solo was gonna kill him if if Solo if he lost, which I don't know why. But yeah, Paul Heyman interfered with one of the pinfall attempts from Owens. Then Kevin chased him, and then Solo did, uh, took advantage of that distraction, hit him with two Simone spikes, and pinned him, and got the win. That was Solo's best match on the main roster. I don't know how. 3.5 out of 5. That was the match of the night as well. So I had to rank all of these. Logan Paul and LA Knight's little segment goes number one. Cody and AJ goes number two. The Grayson Waller effect with DIY goes number three. Solo took in the match of the night. Solo took and Kevin Owens goes fourth. Carmelo Hayes' uh, little segment goes fifth. Santos Escobar versus Apollo Crews 7th. Um, 
Naomi versus Chelsea Green Day. The Unholy Union goes night, and the worst match of the night was Meechan versus Nia Jax. This show was a little bit of a week ago home show. The mat, like the first half of the show, really, really was really bad. Uh, it was like it was literally. I saw a lot of people on Twitter say it was in contention for the for the worst match of the year. The first three segments that were that were the Naomi match, the Waller effect, and the Santos versus Apollo, most boring things ever. Like it, I was bored out of my mind. The Waller effect was decent. It was actually pretty good, but just like after all that, it was just really just another throwaway thing. Uh, once Cody and AJ came in, that's when the crowd started getting loud. But then Meech and Nia happened, and that happened. And the last part of the show was kind of savory for it, but like really, it was just not good at all at the at, at that point. So, yeah, I'm gonna give the show a three out of five. It was a little bit, it was a little bit of a week go home show. They usually do it. They usually do this where they, where it's a week go home show, but meh. that's gonna do it for this video. Though, thank you all for watching and just have a good day. Goodbye.